Today we're going to try to put this cheap P94 pickup in a 1988 Les Paul Studio. So, a little history. The P94 is Gibson's attempt to make a P90 style pickup that's a drop-in replacement for a humbucker. I put the authentic Gibson P90 in the bridge position of this guitar a few years ago. I love the sound that the P90 provides. Uh, it's more dynamic, it's more clear, it's a little more old school, got some old school grid in there. Uh, a little different, a little more interesting than the stock Gibson humbucker. But at $130 each, they aren't cheap, so I thought, how bad can a $20 P94 be? All right, so here's what you need. Some yoga blocks to flip the guitar over on, some strippers, some zip ties, uh, some solder, and we'll need a soldering iron to go with that and a $20 P94 off of Amazon. And uh, I put copper shielding on here, it's optional. I didn't do it on this guitar, uh, but these are single coil pickups and they can be a little noisy. So there's two conductors coming from the old humbucker attached to the volume pot. One is the shield and one is the signal. I desoldered both of those and pulled the old humbucker out. I unscrewed the old humbucker from the ring and screwed the P new P94 into that ring in the same way. I then ran the cables through the body of the guitar and then soldered the new P94 um, shield and ground to the same place that it was soldered for the previous humbucker. The ground cable should just solder right to the top of the casing of the volume pot. When everything is done and screwed back into place, you can see it's a pretty good match for the old Gibson P94 that's in there, uh, at least look-wise, so. All right. So uh, let's see what it sounds like. sounds like with some distortion.
kind of crazy overtones that come out. Maybe a little brash. It stands up pretty well to the P94. together they're out of phase with each other I believe kind of giving me a weird like band pass kind of cocked wall sound don't know if I'd ever use that sound clean but <laughs> 